Good morning, guys. Here I am again, framed in the doorway of my treehouse. I had a wonderful day on the server yesterday. I had no lag, and let me go and show you what's been going on. My orchard has grown out in that direction. I need those herb gardens. Over in this direction, I have started running a path and a path to the sea because there is a lot of sea in this area and I'm going to show you what I found over there yesterday. So, without more ado, let's go down. See if I can, there we go, down the ladder. So let's start with the orchard. Oh, hello. Yeah, you. If there are skeletons, I've only just come on the server, then it follows that there may be creepers. Guys, we need to keep our eyes peeled. I've got a couple more trees to plant. I have a paper tree and a cinnamon tree. But don't these look gorgeous? I also need some jungle wood, guys. And that is enderman damage. But I've got a double row of trees here all looking very very fine this one is particularly pretty what is this mango mm-hmm and then over here we've got sort of peaches and oranges and this one which is dragon fruit another pretty one but I have a second line going along here so I think we'll have some more trees there soon now guys the pièce de résistance at the moment here is that I've started a garden. I picked up a lot of gardens on my travels and planted them here and they have of course expanded. So I've been able to uh, produce a lot of crops. And isn't this so, so pretty? I've tried to plant according to gardens. So I've broken two or three gardens to get the plants together that form the different gardens. It's not uh, wholly um, <laughs> proof against the stake, but we're getting there. I've got a couple of rows of cotton there because I think I'm going to need a lot of string for bait. Um, these are the stalk gardens that were the last I put in. I've still got herb gardens and several other things to go, so it's not complete yet. But I have to say I love the terrace look. And I will take the terrace back, even though it means a bit of terraforming. Now through here, I've come up here and I decided that this road was going to have a branch leading out to the sea for exploration. And then when I was coming up here, because I initially thought I might put my gardens on this side, I forget I have to press shift to go up. Look what I found. The Queen of Ravines has struck again. A blue schist ravine. Is that gorgeous or what? So I have a ravine here. I think the end. I'm not sure if that's the end. Yes, it is. So I think I'm going to run my path up or rather just down from there into the end of the ravine. And I think that will be absolutely excellent. And... I have started building guys in blue schists. I cannot, I cannot uh, resist building it. And that is the beginning of my build. Let's go up and have a look. Um, I was going to have a massive well in the middle because there's a massive hole in the middle, but I decided against it. So up here, and one of the things I have to educate myself into doing is these builds are huge the footprint is very large I mean I know I've extended this a bit but they still have big footprints you know they're not small builds um, either in this space they take up or in the detailing and I started off my house here which I absolutely love I love the look of this pale grey blue with the marble. I have put an edging. This is very Greek with the columns. But I want to go up another story 
and if I do, the upper story is going to be too small because I am building too small. I need to take this foot plate out a lot. Um, so I think I'm going to take this building right over to where the line of trees is and cantilever it out so that we have this wonderful view of the surrounding countryside. <coughs> Excuse me. I have plans for this tree, but my eye has been caught over there. I think that's an ordinary tree. I can't decide whether to cover this over there. Can you see these beautiful flowered vines? I've collected some of those. And as a way of showing off a vine collection, this tree would take some beating. I have actually put some torches underneath. And I'm thinking of growing two beautiful specimen trees, one on either side. But I might grow vines and then in front of it, I have a very beautiful Sarastu cherry tree. And I think it would look wonderful against the dark green. So I'm going to put some specimen trees here. And where that my cursor is, where that little pine tree is, that little hump there, is crying out for a specimen tree. At least I think so. The well was under where my bed is now, and I think that needs taking down. Um, I have actually allowed for a terrace here, because otherwise I think bringing the build up to this edge will impinge on this beautiful tree house too much. So I think the build, I may just stick with this edge here, I'll see how it looks size wide, but just take it out to the side. Or if I still feel I've not got enough room, I may bring it back again to here. Um, but I shan't go any further. This is going to be garden. I have plans for it. As you can see, this is all coming along very, very beautifully. I have started growing a mushroom uh, farm there and that will expand. I am short of a sunflower, I know I'm going to find one soon. And then over here in this corner, near the gardens, of course, we have a beehive up and running. Oh, well done. So I will empty that and then I need to make a grinder to make pots of honey. But I have to say, I think this is looking really, really pretty here. And another terrace up here for herb gardens, that's going to need quite a bit of terraforming. I don't mind that because I've got huge hills over there. I've got other hills over there. So a little bit of flatness here uh, would not go amiss. And we would be able to see over here. It's a hill, guys. We have to go up it. So we've got a lot of space going up this hill where we can take, hello pig, a lot of room if we want. Yeah, I think we can definitely come this way up. That's There's nothing there on this hill that is so special it couldn't be moved. And I think the extra room for our gardens and then a pathway up would look... Look at that, guys. Let me just take F1 off for a minute. Doesn't that look absolutely... Well, I think it looks fantastic. It's all centred. It all looks pretty good. So I'm very, very happy with that. I may have too many lights. Can you have too many lights? Possibly not. But I think that that's actually all looking really, really as one would want it to. And I can't tell you how much I enjoyed all the gardening. Um, life in the woods is definitely a wonderful, wonderful uh, mod for somebody like me or a collection of mods who loves collecting gardening and just doing nice things with this. Let's have one final look and then I think I must come out and plant the other two trees. And this takes us a long way out. I think, I don't know, a bridge or a road because I'm going to go in that direction a lot I suspect guys. I haven't even explored down there. That's another wonderful view. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous with all the fruit trees? They're so colourful. 
so colourful. Um, not, I mean, it's not that I'm enjoying myself at all, guys, as you can tell. <laughs> I've left the pond here. Why not? It looks beautiful. I think it could be prettied up a little bit more. And on that note, we can come back in before sunset. Uh, I shan't show you down in the mine because I showed you last time. And not much has changed except that I have mined out a little bit more of the schist. And up here, I come out onto this balcony, guys. And I think the ravine is over there. When it's lit up, it's going to look spectacular. And I watch the sunset from here. Isn't that beautiful? Bye-bye, guys.